Hello pre-calc uh, classes, uh, this is Mr. McAllen and I'm um, putting up this video to just help us out with uh, finding the height of uh, Cheops Pyramid uh, problem. This is again a double triangle problem that we were working on in class today and I figured I'd make this video to help you with this type of problem as well as we have one other problem which is finding, it's another version of the balloon flying over the lake but this time the balloon is um, on one side of the lake. So this is another variation that's worth uh, while checking out the setup. So anyway, so we're going to use this old surveying technique for finding the height of the pyramid. And I imported a picture of the pyramid so you could just see what they're talking about. It says that the, um, the angle of elevation um, of the uh, top, to the top of the Egyptian pyramid is 36.4 degrees. So I'm going to draw um, a measurement here of 36.4 degrees and I'm going to speed through this because we kind of did do this in class and um, it's showing here that um, the uh, they said that they were walking off from the uh, it was measured from 350 feet from the base of the pyramid so this will be 350 right to that base right there because we can't really go into the pyramid um, and uh, the angle of elevation of the face of the pyramid, this is the face, and the angle of elevation of that is 51.9. So I don't know if you can see that. The picture is kind of in the way. So, um, you know, what I'll do is I'll just move the picture out of the way now, if I can. And so I'll move the picture off, and there we have the uh, diagram. And I'll just put the height and this is going to be X. So now we are back at our double triangle problem that the surveyors work with. So um, our first triangle will be the smaller one. That'll be H, X, and 57.9. So you want to write up your tangent equation as we went over in class. And then you solve for H and you're going to get X tan of 57.9. Your other equation is going to be the bigger triangle. That will be x plus 350. And this will be h. And this angle will be 36.4. So you're going to have another tangent ratio of 36.4 equals h over x plus 350. So now we cross multiply with that one. and And I'm just going to pause the video so I can use a calculator to get these values of tangent of 57.9 and the other tangent value. So I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, we're back, and I, all I did was I figured that the tangent of 57.9 was 1.594, and the tangent of 36.4 degrees was 0.737. So I distributed that, and I have my two equations for the height. I'm going to set them equal. So I'm going to have 1.594x is equal to 0.737x plus 258. And then I'm going to subtract um, 1.594. I'm going to take away from that 0.737, as we would do in class. And we had 0.857x equals 258. So x is going to equal, we divide by... 0.857 and we get 300 in one feet so that means our height when we use that original equation you know for height it's going to be 300 in one feet times 1.5 I'm just going to write it in this way equation says 1.594 times the x value of 301. So the height should be 479 feet. I'm going to just pause that and get ready for the next problem. 
Uh, I just realized, uh, my apologies, I made this uh, 51.9, and that should have been um, 50... Uh, I made it 57.9, it should have been 51.9, so let me just make the correction real quick. So this will be 51.9, this tangent ratio will be changed to 1.275 uh, times x, and then this would be 1.275 and then this subtraction would result in um, it would be 0.538 and then 258 divided by 0.538 is um, 479 feet 480 feet if you round up and then you multiply that by 1.275 by the x value of 480 and our new height should be 611 feet so that is the conclusion to this problem. I just have to be careful when I'm copying off the diagram that uh, I think my penmanship was a little sloppy, and that's what that's what uh, did me in. But um, anyway, uh, it's better to be neat and take your time. But I'm trying to keep these videos also under 10 minutes.